Hi, today we will discuss eclampsia management. Eclampsia is preeclampsia plus seizures. Seizures of new onset, tonic-clonic type, focal or multifocal in the absence of other causes. It is a serious obstetric emergency with appreciable increase in risk to mother and fetus with complications like placental abruption, neurological deficits, aspiration pneumonia, pulmonary edema, cardiopulmonary arrest, acute kidney injury, HELP syndrome, stroke and even sudden death due to massive cerebral hemorrhage. Fetal complications may be IUGR, preterm birth, abruption, bradycardia, fetal hypoxia, birth asphyxia and stillbirth. The management becomes very important and management revolves around the control of convulsions with magnesium sulfate, control of hypertension with intermittent antihypertensives, delivery of the fetus and supportive management. We need to avoid diuretics, fluid overload and hyperosmotic agents. Talking about these individually, magnesium sulfate is an effective anticonvulsant and a neuroprotective agent but it is not an antihypertensive. It is given as IV infusion as with Zuspan and Sibai regime or as intramuscular route like Pritchard's disease. All the regimes have a loading and a maintenance dosage. For continuous IV infusion, the loading dose is 4 to 6 gram in 100 ml of IV fluid given slowly over 15 to 20 minutes. The maintenance is 1 to 2 gram in the same 100 ml but given over 1 hour. It is repeated hourly after monitoring of deep tendon reflexes and serum magnesium level which is to be maintained between 4.8 to 8.4 mg per deciliter or 4 to 7 milli equivalent per liter. The intermittent intramuscular injections are given as a loading dose of 4 gram as 20% solution IV at a rate of 1 gram per minute to start with. All the injections later are intramuscular. This IV dose is followed immediately with a 5 gram as 50% solution deep IM in the outer uh, upper butt quadrant of each buttock plus minus 1 ml of 2% lagnocaine to minimize discomfort of IM injection. The maintenance will be 5 gram, the same 5 gram as 50% solution in deep IM in alternate buttock 4 hourly only if patellar reflex is present, respiration is not depressed and urine output is more than 100 ml over last 4 hours because absence of patellar reflex or respiratory depression indicate a serum magnesium level of 10 ml equivalent per liter or 12 mg per deciliter which means toxicity. You need to stop magnesium sulfate and give the antidote which is calcium gluconate or calcium chloride given as 1 gram intravenous. Urine output is monitored as an indicator of renal function because clearance of magnesium sulfate is exclusively by renal excretion. Magnesium sulfate is discontinued 24 hours after delivery or 24 hours after the onset of convulsions in postpartum eclampsia. We also need to give antihypertensive separately to such patient. For this, we have three equally effective first-line agents. These are hydralazine, labetalol, and nifedipine. Hydralazine being a direct vasodilator can cause tachycardia and headache. Labetalol being alpha and non-selective beta blocker can cause bradycardia and precipitate asthma in predisposed individuals. Nifedipine being a calcium channel blocker can again lead to tachycardia and headache. All these agents can cause hypotension. The starting dose is 5 mg IM or IV for hydralazine, 10 mg IV for labetalol and 10 mg oral for nifedipine. The maintenance doses are or the follow-up doses are listed here. The target remains a systolic BP of less than or equal to 160 mm mercury, a diastolic BP of less than or equal to 110 mm mercury. A lower BP is not targeted because it may reduce placental perfusion. Delivery of the fetus has to be planned. If the patient is in labor and a favorable cervix, you can plan a vaginal delivery and in the other cases, you can plan a cesarean, but prophylaxis for PPH and anesthesia risks have to be addressed. Supportive care includes isolation of the patient, call for help, railed cord, mouth gag and throat suction, prevention of tongue bite and tongue fall, 
मेंटेनेंस ऑफ एयरवे एंड ऑक्सीजन सैचुरेशन टू वाइट बोर्ड आई वी लाइन्स कैथेटराइजेशन मेंटेनेंस ऑफ वाइटल पैरामीटर्स एंड इन्वेस्टिगेशन एंड क्लोज मॉनिटरिंग थैंक यू